that that is the premise of the show of the movie that's coming out the trailer literally starts you want to know what the dangerous animal most dangerous animal on the planet is and the guy says it's a white person when they're uncomfortable go ahead go ahead Lana. so, so my, mine's a little bit more serious at least the me it is i'm disgusted like generally disgusted uh, it, my nigga. people let the community down so there's a movie coming out this week <laughs> and our, our friend King Lion talked about it in a video earlier it's called the American Society of Magical Negroes yeah I heard about that so huh. so I, I looked at the trailer I tried to see what it was about because I apparently got like already a 30, 30% of Raw Tomatoes like a 2.7 30% on like trash so I was like alright what's Lord this about mercy. what's this about I was like, is this some like black Harry Potter shit? So <laughs> what it's about is bl- these black oh, people that get magical powers, their job nice. is to make white white people feel better because white people are the most dangerous people in America. And so they do things that help white people as their job. What? So they're magic they're basically magical slaves <laughs> that, that get paid. Their job is to help these magical niggas go to different white people to make their lives easier. That that is the premise of the show of the movie that's coming out. The trailer literally starts. You want to know what the dangerous animal, most dangerous animal on the planet is, and the guy says it's a white person when they're uncomfortable, and they start just going from there. So their job it's is to make insulting. white people. So this movie is about black people making white people comfortable with their powers, and the main character is trying to help out this white guy and then he falls for this white girl that the other guy likes and now and now everyone's magical powers is in jeopardy because he's not helping the white man yeah so oh man yeah so to the i put in like every every actor and actress that is of color i want to put them all in there <laughs> all in the de- all in this death note because that your ancestors should be ashamed of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like when you, your ancestors. I hope when you, when you, whenever you do die, I hope your ancestors smack the shit out of you. Wait, a person of color made this? I don't know who made it. I'm saying whoever, whoever, Had like oh. for the movie wrote, like read the script, like oh yeah, let me sign up, let me sign up some, to be a magical. Some boom coon did put yeah. that thing. Out. No. So just Justin Smith, he's the main character. He's going in there. It looks like a parody, Riddell, but it's not. It's a, it's a romantic. I guess you can say it's a romantic comedy, but I'm not going to claim it as a romantic Shana comedy. Nicole Byer, she's in a bunch of shit on Netflix. They, they all go in. Like, I'm sorry, that's just like a bad look for the culture. It's like that if that's the premise of the movie. Like you're basically a, you're you're magical slaves, you're mag- magical handmaid. Like, come on, like we we need to do better. <laughs> we just need to do better. Yeah, I was telling Random that this was literally what American fiction was uh, was was all about. Like trying to do something that pretty much white people think or see. It's it's bad. It's just bad. It's just tone deaf. I don't understand how you you do all that. And that, maybe that money's just that good. But you go home at night, you're like, "Hey, baby, we made a lot of money today." I don't know how you do that. Mm. You do you make a movie like that? Because ain't no way this movie's gonna do. My thing is when you're done. When the movie's over, whatever money you gonna get, because it's not gonna make its budget. By the way, I just claim that right now. Probably not. And then you go home and say, "I'm proud. I'm proud. I made that movie." That's. I don't know how you do that. And you go home at night and you say that. This will happen when people. I, I have a hot take about this. Like I don't. I don't know if it's uh, how people would take it, but I feel like this hap- what, what happens when people bear for representation instead of just making their own. Like you get foolishness like this, and I think it's a lot of stories, at least the best stories, unless it's like, unless race is like historically relevant in your story. I just think it's you should just have a story. I ain't gonna lie, like your story just has groups of people and it's not really a point, unless you have like historical context to it. Because outside of that, it'd be crazy, but. Mm-hmm. It, you're right because i ironically i watched american fiction i wish i watched it before it was such a great movie you guys called it and jesus christ 
it's it's crazy to have that movie and then watch that trailer again. And I was so angry that you would make something like that and feel comfortable representing the community that way. 